Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on the Lifts mod by Darkness King on Pierce Forge. I'm going to be using extra generators and uh, roughly enough items for uh, showing you crafting recipes and for producing electricity. And a uh, quick word of reference, I hate losing footage. I created a very nice video a little bit ago and uh, I lost it, but uh, it'll be alright. So. We have a variety of lifts to choose from. Uh, each one is going to be better than the next. So Sterling Lift, it's going to run off of a fuel source. Like, for instance, let's take some coal. And we're going to put it down here. And the coal is going to go straight into here. Now the stored ticks is going to be how many ticks it'll last while moving. Okay? And then it's going to say burning. That's basically just how many ticks it has left to store. Now, these ones are electric lifts. These ones will be powered by energy from another mod, like extra generators, as I have here. And I'm going to be using the dragon generator from that mod, just because it's really easy, and I'm not going to have to be keep dragging stuff into my inventory. So, each lift is created by different things. This one is created by coal, this one's created by iron, this one's created by gold, this one's created by diamonds, this one's created by emeralds, and this one's created by netherite. Now, each of them, they get better in statistics. So, let's see. This one has a speed multiplier of 1 and a range of 16, 16 blocks. So, what that means, it's, uh, it's, um, the range... It's only going to go 16 blocks up or down before you need to place another one. It's not going to go very far. But, if we check these ones, they will go a lot further. So like the Mark 1, it's going to go 32 blocks. It's going to need an input of 32 electricity uh, every tick. And then it has 32,000 electricity units, I'll just call them, for storage. This one has a 1.4 multiplier, range of 64, and an input of 128 per tick, along with 64,000 for capacity. As you can see here, 1.6, 128, 512, 128,000. This one, 1 1.8, 128, 2048, 256,000. And then this last one, uh, speed multiplier of 2, range of 256, input of 8192 per tick, and capacity of 512,000. Now, my personal preference for these few is the diamond one, because it uh, doesn't require too much electricity. It's got a nice range, nice speed, and good capacity. And it's pretty cheap, because diamonds aren't the hardest thing to come by. Like netherite. It's going to be pretty tough. So, we're going to take the diamond one, for example, here, because that's the one that I wanted to use, and we're going to grab a foundation. Now, know that when you place it down, these yellow bars is going to be the side that you want to place your platform on, okay? So we're going to put our platform doesn't have to be square, it could be like a larger rectangle, but don't make it too big. Now a quick note of reference. When we're putting up the blocks here, you're not going to want to put these blocks along here the same as this. Because if you're going to try and go up, it's just going to get stuck on the oak logs. So make sure these blocks are different from these blocks. And if you want to like have birch planks in the middle, sure. But you can't have it like this. This is not going to work. It's only going to move these birch planks. It's not going to move this. So if you wanted to have like a different block in the middle, you can. Just make sure this block is outlining the entire thing. Now let's finish off this here. Okay, so we are going to, since we're using an electric lift, we're going to need a power source. 
So I'm using the dragon generator as seen here. So I'm going to put that right there. So this dragon generator, once again, it's not very easy to get. And I'm just using it for ease of my personal use. So it's going to start creating energy and it's going to store up here. But at the same time, it's also going to be transferring energy to here. We're going to, we can also name the lift. We're going to call this ground floor. Because that's what it is. It's on the ground floor. Now it's going to be storing up energy and also putting it into there. So, now, let's say we want to move it from this floor about to here. So we're going to place another lift, and we're going to, you don't have to add these blocks, but I just like it to make it look nice. And then what we're going to do next is this one's going to need to have power too. So let's create a little platform here. We're going to put power generator and some dragon spread. So we're going to also name this one uh, second floor. Or first floor if you're in the UK. Oops. So, now, we've created the lifts. We just need to get this platform up to there. Here's where uh, two utilities can prove very useful. The screen. Actually, I'll keep this. The screen and the lift button. So we're going to grab both. And the screen charger, I'll show you how that works, and I'll show you how the lift detector works as well. We're also going to need a linking tool. This will take one eye of ender, two iron ingots, and two redstone dust. Now, uh, we have the choice between the screen or the button. I personally prefer the screen. I like it a lot more. It looks better. It's just a better choice for me. So I'm going to put the screen here. Uh, try not to put it inside the elevator, because when it tries to go up, it's going to get caught on this. So, uh, yeah, don't do that. We, uh, it says no energy up here, uh, because we're going to need to power it with either the screen charger or putting a generator right here. Now, I usually prefer the screen charger, but the only reason I got it is because I had the extra materials for it. All these things are quite expensive. I'd recommend making a lift later in the game, but it's all your choice. Now, one more thing. If you have shaders on, the screen isn't going to work very well. It's going to freak out, and it's going to say text down here. It'll still work with like inputs and everything, but the screens down here, it's really not going to be an effective way. Uh, I'm sure they're going to fix it in the future. It's just a problem with Iris itself. Okay, so we are going to take a generator. I'm going to grab Dragon's Breath again. And then here, you can put down the generator, put in the Dragon's Breath. Now, it's going to turn on. Now, the other way to do it is with the screen charger, which is my personal preference. So we're going to take it. And the screen charger doesn't have to be on it. It can be anywhere you want. So, we're gonna... It can't be anywhere, but... We're gonna need it to be next to a generator. Now that you have your screen charger down, we're gonna go over to the screen, and we're gonna shift right-click on it. And then we're gonna head over to the screen charger, and we're also just gonna regular right-click on that. So, the power from this is gonna go into the screen charger, which will power the screen, as you can see here. So, it's going to give you a bit of instruction to link the screen, uh, left shift and right click with a linking tool and a lift, and then right click the screen. So, we're going to do exactly that. Shift right click on the lift, and then regular right click on the screen. Perfect. So now, it's going to give us the GUI of the second floor and the ground floor. So, we're going to step in the elevator. And we're going to tap on second floor. And as you see here, it moves up to here. Now, uh, we don't have a screen up here, which is an easy fix. We just link this up here. Grab another screen charger. Put it down. Shift right click. Or 
shift right click here, sorry, and regular right click there. Once again, uh, shift right click there, regular right click there. Now we have a screen here. We can tap it to go down, and we can tap it to go up. Now the other means of uh, calling the lift is called the lift button. So what this is going to do is it's going to call the lift to the uh, lift that you selected to. So let's say the lift is up there and we didn't have a screen. Uh, we just wanted the lift to come down. Well, I'm going to shift right click here and we're going to right click there. So now it's, oh no, I need the lift. We're going to call it with this button. It's going to come down. It's going to come to our level. And we can use the screen. And yeah. Next thing we have is the lift detector. So what this is going to do is emit a 15 strength pulse in redstone. So uh, let's clear this off. Let's grab some redstone, let's get a lamp. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, we're going to put a lamp right there. So, we're going to also need to link this up to the lift that we want it to emit redstone to. So, if I wanted the lift detector to emit a redstone signal when the lift is up there, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come on over, shift right click, and then right click here. So now, if uh, it goes to the second floor, to that lift that I linked it to, it's going to emit a 15 strength redstone signal, similar to a repeater, if uh, you're not very good at redstone. Now, you can use this for a variety of ways. I have hooked it up to a double piston extender, a pulse extender, and then two double piston extenders to create uh, this close. So if we go up, it's going to open. It's going to let us through. Okay, we're up here. And then if we want to go down, tap basement. And then it's going to close. Uh, here's the redstone. Uh, double piston extender here. Also one over here and then a pulse extender. So, lift detector goes on, observer sees it, sends a pulse extender, then runs the redstone into these guys. Now, if we go back up, there's one more thing I want to cover. If we have this go down, you can see It's an uh, origin for the server that I'm in. So, you can see here that my lift is the same blocks as these. So, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. You're going to want to create a like a outer layer, as here, with a different block. I used furnaces, because if that was a smooth stone block, it's going to it's going to get caught on these ones, or it's just going to try and bring the entire thing down. You don't want that. So when you have the platform, you're going to surround it with furnaces. See? So, if you need any extra help, there's uh, my comment section. I'll reply within a day. And uh, there's an extra source. It is they go to curseforge.com slash minecraft slash mc dash bonds lifts i'll leave this link in the description and they have a discord server right here if you have any as uh dark says it if you have any other questions or suggestions feel free to call me on discord at dark 0693 all right so if you need anything else remember pop a comment or join the discord server and ask dark himself so uh thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.